Welcome back to our channel guys, hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side. So in this video we are going to discuss the problem coverage of all zeros in a binary matrix. So basically the question says that you have to provide me the sum of coverages of zeros of zeros in the mat binary matrix that is a matrix containing only 0 or 1 as its value so you can see this is example of a binary matrix because all the values are either 0 or 1 so 0 0 0 double 1 0 0 1 0 now you have to determine the sum of coverages for you for this you have to know what is the coverage of 0 so coverage of 0 is equals to number of 1 on the boundary of 0 on the boundary of 0 not boundary I will say adjacent to 0 adjacent to 0 suppose for this 0 I am talking about so adjacent are this one and this one so this is a 1 so my answer will, which was initially 0 will increment to 1 moving on here 0 0 1 this is a adjacent element and it is a 1 so it will increment to 2 for this 0 no element is adjacent and equals to 1 for this one I will not do anything, for this one I will not do anything, for this 0 I will see that this one is adjacent as well as 1, so 3. This 0 I will say 1, 1, sorry 1 and 1, so it will increment by 2, so 5. And for this 0 I will say only one element is there, so this is 6. So my answer for this answer for this question will be 6, as simple as that. So you just have to do what I have done in the brute force, like what I have done to explain you. This is the approach for the code also. You will just have to traverse so for i going from 0 to n minus 1 the suppose the order of the matrix is n comma m right j will go from 0 to m minus 1 if matrix of i j equals to equals to 0 then calculate the sum calculate the average so first you initialize your answer by 0 and then calculate the adjacent elements for that what can you do so you can see adjacent elements are suppose this is my element adjacent elements lie here 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 right now suppose this is my row number i comma j then what is this one element this is i comma j plus one right my row is same but my column is increasing similarly this is i comma j minus one j minus one similarly i minus one j and i plus one j so the order it is following is first it is increasing by minus like it is minus one plus one zero zero and 0 0 minus 1 plus 1 this is for column and this is for row so what can you do you can say for x going from range 0 to 4 0 to 3 for perhaps and row equals to current i plus suppose this is called so call of x sorry row of x and similarly n call equals to j plus call of x so this will give you a new row and new column for the adjacency matrix and for 0 to 3 that means 4 times it will give 4 adjacent directions. But now for this element you can see only this element is adjacent, this element is adjacent. This element adjacent element, this position adjacent elements are not in the matrix. So we have to check for that also. So I will add a condition here that if my n row is greater than or equal to 0 and my n row is less than total number of rows along with it i want to find if n call is greater than or equal to 0 and n call is less than m now i will add only one if and if this n row and n column contain one so a and matrix of n row n call equals to equals to one in that case answer plus plus after the four this i, I loop uh, finishes i will just read an answer that is all the question was tagged as easy also so this is not a problem for you I guess this is a very easy problem that I am not spending more time explaining it as simple as that you just have to traverse and check the adjacent elements right okay so let's move on to the code now alright so here is the coding section as you can see but before starting with the code I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel because it really motivates me and gives me a like hell lot of motivation to move forward right so what I will do I will say int answer equals to 0 n equals to total number of rows that is matrix dot size similarly m equals to column that is matrix 0 dot size and now I will initialize two vectors vector of int row for incrementing and decrementing rows so minus 1 1 0 0 similarly vector of int call equals to 0 0 minus 1 1 
check that the order is zero order is important so minus one should come with zero one should come with zero and zero should come with minus one and zero should come with one the order is important right so please take care of that in mind so for int i going from zero up till n i plus plus that is for the rows and for int j going from zero up till n m j plus plus that is for the columns now check if matrix of ij equals to equals to zero only then do the operation so what will you do you will move your x from zero to three for x going up till three x plus plus you will say int n row is now equals to i plus row of x and similarly n call equals to j plus call of x now check if my n row is greater than equals to zero and my n row is less than n that is total number of rows similarly if n call is greater than equals to zero and n call is less than m total number of columns and my matrix at that new row and new column that is n row n column equals to equals to one only then increment your answer so answer plus plus in that case and now after this loop you can are free to return answer so return answer let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine i guess it should not give any error and it is working fine let us try it for submit as well i guess it will work fine for all the test cases and it is running fine so 194 days streak as you can see so hope you like the video and make sure to subscribe the channel and like the video thank you have a nice day